Well, um, the page I was showing you from Stellar Theology and Masonic Astronomy by Robert Hewitt Brown. It's page 71. Everyone should buy this book. It's, it's very interesting. It doesn't cover everything, but it covers a lot. It's a good introduction to Masonry. Um, well, it says, the question is, why so? When they're talking, they were talking about the letter G before. And anyway, it goes, A, for two reasons. The triangle is the true significator of the noble Masonic science, geometry, since without a knowledge of its form and properties, that science is impossible. It was upon the triangle that Pythagoras erected his celebrated and invaluable 47th proposition. He is also said to have discovered that the sum of all the angles of any triangle is equal to the two triangles. It is more probable, however, that he brought these two propositions together with a knowledge of the true system of the universe with him from Egypt, where he went to pursue his studies and was initiated into the mysteries. So you see the Masons openly admit that this stuff comes from Egypt. They're not talking about Babylon. The equilateral triangle is also a sacred symbol of the deity, being the same in its form as the ancient Greek delta or letter D. The Phoenician letter D as well as the Egyptian was of a similar form. The equilateral triangle in the Greek tongue as well as many other ancient languages was thus one was thus the initial letter of the name of deity. In the days of Pythagoras, we are told that whenever an oath of unusual importance was to be taken, it was administered on the equilateral triangle, as by so doing, the name of God was directly invoked. The oath is said to have been violated. The equilateral triangle, therefore, since it is at once the em emblem and essence of geometry and the initial letter of the name of deity should be seen in the midst of every regular Masonic assembly. So the Masons, when they use the triangle, they um, are taking an oath or giving an important speech. They will not violate what, what, what was said. So, you know, it, it has a positive meaning in Masonry, and then it has a negative meaning in the occult, in the dark side of the occults of Masonry.